Hello and welcome to Tapping Tips Tuesday. My name is Katie Walker. I'm an EFT practitioner, trainer and mentor. And each week I want to be able to bring to you the way we can use tapping in our day-to-day -day life to manage our stress and those negative emotions that we um, that show up possibly every day based on different scenarios that we're involved with, people that come into our life, um, our workload, different thoughts, how we just feel. Sometimes we just have a feeling that then starts our thinking and then it just escalates. And before we know it, we're in this complete and utter stressed out, overwhelmed, worried, scared, all those emotions that can show up. Today, I did have something planned. I was going to show you how we can use tapping on future events. But I'm going to pause on that and I'll do that next week because what I wanted to actually share with you was a situation that happened only an hour ago, she met an hour ago for me, where um, my system went into complete and utter overdrive and that stress response happened so quickly and um, I had to tap to actually regulate and to calm my system down because I could feel immediate adrenaline cortisol just pumping through my body I wasn't thinking clearly so I wanted to share with you what actually happened so about an hour ago um, I had a client here we went out um, to I went out to say goodbye to her and when we walked out the door I saw that our gate was open and I have a beautiful 18 month old puppy and realized that she was not in the front yard the intensity of the stress that I felt from the tops of my toes all the way through my body this absolute dread freak out was just beside myself fortunately my client was just a little calm like because she'd just done an hour of tapping there um and I just was starting to go okay what do I do who do I call I was about to start screaming down the street before that actually happened um we saw that she was across the, the road. We've got a, a, a nice field area and she was running around. She was playing. She was happy. She was just having a ball. I very calmly, interestingly, I was very calmly called out to her rather than ah, come back to me. And she came and she came into the gate and she came into the area and she was fine. But I noticed that there was this residual pumped up, stressed out feeling that I felt. And I know I knew I needed to do something with that because I was having another session with another client and I needed to actually make sure I was present, calm, regulated. So what I had to do was tap and I'll show you what I did. And now I can calmly think about what happened rather than it continually triggering me. So this is what I did. I was tapping on the side of my hand. So that's just between the wrist and the pinky. And this is what I did. Even though just thinking about walking out into the front yard just moments ago and seeing the gate open, and Stella wasn't there, I feel this panic. I feel this panic and I feel it in my chest. So we name the emotion. If it shows up in our body, I feel this panic in my chest, but I can still deeply and completely accept myself. And even though just thinking about moments ago, when we walked outside and the gate was open and Stella wasn't there, I feel this panic. And I feel it in my chest. I can still deeply and completely accept myself. And even though just thinking about moments ago, when I walked outside, the gate was open and Stella wasn't there, I feel this panic. And I can feel it in my chest. But I still deeply and completely accept myself. So we state it three times. What was I focused on? I was focused on walking outside, seeing the gate open, Stella wasn't there. How I feel about it in the here and now, panic, I notice it in my chest. So I just state that. But even though that's happening, I still say that acceptance statement. I deeply and completely accept myself. And then we go to the top of the head, this panic, side of the eyebrow, this panic, side of the eye, this panic, under the eye, feeling panic, under the nose, this panic. Under the lip, feeling panic. Collarbone, feeling this panic. Under the arm, feeling panic. And then I just come back to the side of the hand and I check in and I think, how am I feeling thinking about that? Because I've done, I did tapping at the time 
I'm actually feeling fine. I feel fine. I don't have that panic. But if I did, I would just do that all again. And I would be thinking, am I thinking about um, the gate being open and her being in the, 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 not being in the front yard? Yes. Or if it changed to the gate open, there was silence. Just kind of really work out what's going on in your mind's eye and do another round. And it could go from panic to worry, to anxious, to sad. Notice if the emotion changes as well. And you just change up the emotion in that, what we call it, that setup statement. And the reason why we do that is to calm our nervous system. So what has happened for me is that I've gone into that fight, flight, freeze response and that stress response part of our body. And then I knew that if I didn't release that, I would be thinking about that all day. And even though I know she's fine, she's in the house, she's fine, she's back, that stress response would keep happening. Every time I thought about it, I'd still get some sort of stress response. So by tapping, I've been able to release that. I can now think about what happened and I feel calm. I'm fine. So this is how we can use it in our day-to-day -day life. It meant that I could then show up for my client and not be elsewhere thinking about that or still in my body feeling that emotion of panic. I was able to be there present for my client. So it could be you then being present for the work that you're doing or being there for your child or for your partner or just being in a calm state rather than dysregulated state. So that's as simple as that. And that when I did it myself, it only needed to, I only needed to do it a couple of rounds and I released that panic feeling. So I hope that's helped. Next week, we're going to talk about future tapping and how we can use future tapping to ensure that we stay calm. So I hope that's been useful and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you for joining me.